Welcome or welcome back. Um, I'm Savannah of So Libby Dyes Yarn and this channel is all about uh, my knitting journey, I guess you could say. Um, I show you all the progress I'm making on knitted things currently. Usually, not usually, usually it's knitting. Um, occasionally I'll add in other crafts, uh, but it is just, I'm sorry, this is weird. <coughs> it doesn't sit right. Um, today it's just knitting, just knitting. Again, like, like usual, um, I just don't have time for everything else. Um, so yeah. Um, if you are returning, thank you. If you are new, thanks for stopping by and, you know, I mean, everybody, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate it. Whomever you are, it doesn't matter if you're new, you're a new subscriber, you know, somebody who's been here for a while, you're still taking time out of your day to watch me. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Um, I know my aesthetic is not usually like the calm, sweet, like a lot of other knitting podcasters. I just, I don't feel like that's me <laughs> at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I sent out the advents last week. Yay! No more advents in this house. Um, they are all gone. I cleaned up. Everything is back to normal-ish here. So I'm very excited about that. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of what else I want to talk about. Um, Halloween was yesterday. So uh, happy Halloween if you celebrated. Um, it was freezing cold here. Um, it was crazy too, because the three days prior to Halloween, we had beautiful weather, absolutely beautiful weather. And then yesterday, Halloween, we woke up to fog and it was as, as Emma of the Woolly Mammoth says, it was misly, which is misting and drizzling at the same time. It was misly. Uh, yeah, it was very cold and wasn't that gross because it rained the mist rain drizzle stopped um for actual trick-or-treating but it was still pretty cold um it was still pretty cold my children um did the unexpected um my daughter peaced out after like doing half of a street she's like I just want to go hand out candy I don't want to go trick-or-treating I'm like okay so she went back home she handed out candy. Um, my son, he kept going, but after a while he stopped collecting candy and says he doesn't want that much. He wants to be healthy, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because that kid does not eat healthy. I mean, but it was funny. And I was thankful that, um, <clears throat> we didn't bring a lot of candy home. Um, I did not want a lot of candy. Um, we did end up with a giant bag though, because our church gave us extra candy to hand out and it just didn't all go. What else? I did not take a single stinking photo yesterday of my children in their costumes. Granted, Liv didn't even wear the costume that we picked out for her. She wore that on Friday to school, but she did not wear that last night because she wanted to stay warm. Oh. So she, she wore, um just some regular clothes. I mean, granted, we all had jackets on anyway, so it wasn't like anybody could see our costumes. Um, but even on Friday, when my kids got to wear their um, costumes at school, I didn't take a single photo. Just, I didn't this time. Um, so my daughter was Sally and my son was Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. They were very cute. Um, very cute. Um, we didn't go elaborate with... Um, you know, face paint or anything like that. So it was just them dressed in like the little costumes. It was kind of cute. Um, I wore costumes to school on Friday too. I was um, Chucky from Child's Play. Uh, and the best part was that there were several other little girls who wore the same costume on Friday. And I was just like, yay, that is awesome. Um, kind of strange that some kids know who Chucky is, but 
it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, um, Friday was fantastic. It was great seeing all the kids in their costumes. I really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was a fun day. It was a really fun day. Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into what I have. Um, I think I have quite a bit of knitting to show. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Um, first one is the Long Summer Cardi by Hohi Locatelli. Here's that. Um, I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've worked on it, but let me show you what I got here. Okay. I got the set the the left side finished. I think that was the one that wasn't finished le last time. I got that done in one day. One day. And I connected them. Uh, under the armpit. It's not a lot yet. Um, I want to do a little bit more before I try it on, but yeah, I got, I got that done. Um, oh boy, let me tell you, I, I remember now when I was getting this, I like I said, I believe it was this one I was knitting on. I struggled so hard with counting. Like I thought, <clears throat> I thought I was struggling so bad, but I just miscounted um, when I was writing down my repeats. <laughs> so uh, it was just, I was all over the place with this thing, but I got there and everything is correct-ish. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I already have the marker. This is the marker I'm going to use for progress. My little moth one that I showed last week. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm starting from this week. I I didn't really have a... I mean, where you saw it last time, I was missing a whole section. So, so yeah, I have not worked on that since because I was trying to get other things finished. Uh, yarn is... So Livy Dyes Yarn, they're for right now, they are one of a kinds. Um, I need to, I don't have the time, but I have been dying to dye yarn. <laughs> um, I have all these ideas for like a little Christmas collection. So hopefully I can throw some of these in as well, like figure out a recipe for these colors. Um, but we will see. So for right now, they are non-existent for everybody but this project <coughs> sorry about that guys um next one it's my whitmore cardigan whitmore cardigan this one is by amy loden or loudon of taylor s studios um whitmore cardigan um Ooh, what is going on? Oh, man, of course, I'm in the middle of a row. Sweet. And tangled. All right, so I'm in the middle of a row. I apologize for that. So here is where this one is at. It's pretty scrunched up on the cable as well. Um, I really need more cables, a lot more cables. So I got another good chunk done. Um... Another good chunk done when I knit on this. I'm pretty sure that's where I was. I did finish chart A. I don't know if I had that finished last time. I finished chart A and started on the next chart. Um, but this is the last chart. Um, actually, all these charts that are in this pattern, they're for different sizes. So luckily, this one I'm working on is the last one for me. Um, and then I believe I connect in under the arms and and then I think that's it for like the um lace sorry that sounded weird um I think I'm finished with the lace after this chart and then it's just straight stockinette stitching so that is exciting let me just stick this guy right here 
so it's ready so yeah you can kind of see a little bit <laughs> I don't know how that worked having it in front of my face um, yeah, so this yarn is also so Livy Dye's yarn, but it is available. Um, it's a dyed to order colorway. It is the May color of the month, um, based off of Laura Olympus's Artemis. Um, so it looks like, <clears throat> well, looks like that. Super pretty purple. Super pretty purple. And I'm holding it with this mohair that's dyed the exact same way. So this is what Artemis is on mohair, which I don't have the space available, I apologize. And then this is fingering. Is it weird trying to figure out <laughs> um, the focusing? I don't know. Um, so yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I just, I mean, I barely just started this chart though. So I only got one round done of that chart. Uh, <laughs> so, but it's a small one. It's a, it's a small one this time. So just get it done. Right. We'll see what I have going on this week. Um, <coughs> oh, I do have a focus, a focus, um, for the, a focus project so those two might not get a lot of love this week we'll see this one is kind of my priority this is the ice cream social by lisa k ross ice cream social lisa k ross i started it as a knit along um in july i worked on this oh, i got fuzz um i worked on this last night and i had the worst time with it out of all of this time knitting on it, all this lace, I finally hit a snag. So I've done all that. I'm on the third to last lace repeat. So I have this one and then two more. Yeah, five and six. <sighs> last night, I don't know what happened. I kept dropping stitches he was dropping stitches you do not want to drop stitches in this at all so I dropped some here um and I had to I couldn't figure it out to make it look like this so I just <laughs> did whatever to get the right number of stitches back on this side um, and the only way to know that is when you're doing the pattern. If you come to the, you come to here and there's not enough to do the thing. I was like, well, I'm just going to pick it up where I need to. And then I was knitting up back along. I was like, okay, I got past this, got everything, I guess, back to normal ish. And I was knitting on this side and where is it? And I was, I was readjusting the stitches on my cable. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Sorry guys. I was trying to, you know, I was moving the stitches on my needle to figure out. Oh, I can't even see it now. Maybe that's a good thing. No, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> I found it. Um, moving the stitches and I yanked the needle on accident and popped a whole bunch of stitches off I was like and that includes yarn overs and once you drop a yarn over like with other stitches they're gone they're gone now I don't know if this is going to show up very well but it was this guy right here you can see so this is what it's supposed to look like this cluster right here and it's this one um so it's not the most perfect looking one but thankfully you're not gonna be able to tell either of those mistakes but I'm just like I was so upset with myself because it's like I said I've done all of this with no um 
no mistakes, I should say, until last night. I didn't have any alcohol last night. I didn't, I was completely normal. You know, it was, it was a normal time of the evening when I would normally be knitting on this. Nothing different. It's just life said, hey, let's drop some stitches and not be able to fix it correctly. Like I really tried to. Like I really tried, but trying to find where those yarn overs are and there's central double decreases in this. I was just like, Mwah! I made it as best as possible. So yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, this is the stitch marker or the progress keeper from last week. So I was here last week and I put all that in. Um, sense, which is not, not terribly a lot, but, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get this guy done. You know, if I only worked on this this week, I could probably get it done this week, but that's probably not going to happen. So it might be another week or two and then this will be finished. I'm debating on ordering some like blocking wires. I don't know if I will need that for this. Um, for this but we'll see I guess I don't know if I need blocking wires for this shawl what is this called it's a shawl <laughs> I don't know I don't know yet and I need to weave in all those ends but uh yeah so this is the this has kind of got the priority right now I just want to get it done and off the needles um I have a new start that's happening today. I have a new start that's happening on Friday. So I'd kind of like to get it out of the way. All right, let me show you um, one last whip. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I needed something easy and I was finished with my October socks, which are right there. I finished those. Um, I needed something easy to take with me somewhere i don't even remember where but i needed an easy project so what i did is i picked up my um ramble shawl by andrea mowry of dre renee knits i picked this back up so i started this a while back and i stopped working on it when i started the ampersand wrap because the striping was similar um let me show you so it has stripes as well, um, but these stripes are not the same as those stripes. Like those are garter, it's garter stockinette, garter stockinette, um, but in the beginning of the, beginning and end of the row are made different than that one was. So I didn't want to get confused. So I stopped working on this to do the ampersand wrap. But this is the easiest thing I have currently on my needles. So I picked it up and worked on it for some reason. Church, maybe? Maybe I took it to church? I don't remember. But I know I don't think so because I would have recorded after. So I don't know why I picked this up. But this is where I was last time, so I only had that little bit started. So it was right there. And that's how much I knit. So yeah, um, just, I guess it was easy. So just, that's the only reason why my eye is bothering me. I'm sorry. Contact is, <sighs> my contact is going fuzzy in there. See, it's all wet and watery. Oh, anyway, so this, this is a striped, um, shawl with a brioche herringbone pattern. So it won't be easy forever. Oh, I forgot to talk about the yarn and the other thing. Yarn for this is a bare fingering weight yarn, and the colors are Yarn B. Um, oh, Fridays? Is it Fridays in Florence? Did I get it right this time? It was a mini set. Yes, Fridays in Florence. It was a mini skein set, Yarn B. Um, so, yeah, that's that. 
for this one, I am, this is DK. This is a bare base um, for DK. It's 100% superwash merino. And then I dyed the gray specifically for this project. So this is a one of a kind gray that I did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is not going back in the bag because I have another thing in, in this bag. Um, my test knit, I finished. I can't show you, but I was able to finish it last night. So that's the one finish. It's a little thing. Um, but here's the colors and I used a gray as well. Where is it? A gray with all those colors. If I go off screen, I can see better. So yeah, um, I finished it yesterday. I can't wait to show it to you. It's a super secret test knit, so I would love to show you it inside out, but I can't. I can't, I'm sorry. That's driving me nuts too, because I really want to show it. Okay, so that's it. Let me get this out of here and put this stuff back in this bag. This bag is too big for it, but for this project, but we'll just put it in there. It's where it was, so I'll just leave it in there for now. Well, that's too big. Ow, my hips. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the two new starts that are happening this week. Um, and then that's it. That'll be it. Oh, I have one other thing, but I'm sorry. My contact, I don't know why it has to act up today. Um, okay. So it's November 1st. That means, oh, shoot, yarn bar. That means I need to start a new pair of socks. We're coming to the end of, um, the Rainbow Sock Chronicles Knit Along. That's held by So Sweet Violet and Lay Family Yarn. Um, honestly, I thought maybe I was just going to poop out after these October socks. But I'm so close, I might as well finish, right? So I picked um, yarn from Stash and caked it up yesterday so it's all ready to go. So I bought this yarn a little while back. It's from Rose Hill Yarns. Um, sorry, it's rosehillyarns.com. Um, and this colorway is called St Snow Melt. Um, and I got the option with two, two minis. Um, I'm not sure if this is still available. Um, but yeah, Rose Hill Yarns. This is the main colorway. And these are the two minis. So yeah, um, I'm going to cast these on today. I'm thinking I'm going to do, well, I don't know exactly, but I thought maybe it'd be fun to do uh, cuff and toe in this color, heel in this color, and then for the opposite foot, do this um, cuff and toe in this heel. Don't know yet. Oh my God, my contact. Oh, it's really bad. This eye is completely out of focus. It's like, don't even look out of it. Oh, I'm going to have to go take it out and uh, really clean it or something. Oh, it's frustrating. So yeah, got to cast these on and make a pair of socks. So that's the new start for today. Um, nothing crazy. It's just going to be November socks. Um, yeah, no pattern, just straight up vanilla. Just going to make, keep it easy. Um, and then lastly, oh, Wool and Pine Designs released, um, well, they didn't release their pattern yet. It's for pre-order, but they announced their new pattern that's coming out this Friday, November 5th, right? Um, they announced it. It's called Snow Pine. Is it Snow Pine? Yes, right? Anyways, they did something kind of cool where they um they have it offered as a pre-order for 15% off, I think. And in this pre-order, 
you get the pre-pack or whatever, the prep pack. I don't, I can't remember what it's called. I didn't print any of it off. Um, what it includes is your gauge um, requirements, needle requirements, um, yarn requirements, all that stuff you need to get ready. And then several videos um, on color combo picking um, and then construction, like how, how this sweater is going to be constructed, how to do, um, certain techniques, because this is a, uh, crap. Okay. Sorry. Work stuff. Um, oh my goodness. This is a, it's a raglan sweater color work, but also worked in Tarja. Um, yeah, it sounds like a lot. The video, um, so the videos are great. I watched all of them already. It doesn't look that difficult. I am kind of excited about it though, because it looks very, very pretty. It looks like a very pretty sweater. Um, so last week I dived into my stash, um, and tried to figure out what the heck to do. Um, cause you needed two colors or two of the same color for your body. I needed two skeins for my body, one skein for my sleeves because the sleeves are a different color than the body. And then one other color for your little sprinkles, they're calling them, they're sprinkles, the little color work bits. So I was kind of limited because I don't have a lot of two of the same color skeins. Um, but, you know, I was kind of limited. And so I was like, you know, it's funny though, is everything I picked is something I hand dyed. It was all so Libby dyes yarn. I'm like, well, that's what I got. That's what I'm using. Um, and that seemed to be what worked best together. Um, so I picked, um, I had two of these skeins. It's going to be hard to show now, huh? Oh, this eye. So I have this. Um, I did, my daughter did name it Nighttime, but I wasn't too thrilled with this name. Um, so this, I pulled it off the shelf. It has never been available. Um, because when I did try re or, you know, dyeing more of it, it did not turn out the same. So it was kind of, it's kind of a one of a kind. Um, it is hard for me to show you, but it is a purple with pink undertones almost a bluish it's really strange like pink like almost like a pinky undertone too it's and it almost looks brown in some areas it's just the wildest thing I don't know how it did this but it did um, and like I said, I could not recreate it, um, the same. So I caked up one of them so that I could swatch. And I also wanted to see how the colors would play together. So this will be my main body. That's really pretty color. Um, the spe speckles or the sprinkles or whatever you want to call them. They're going to be in this light gray that um, I dyed up a long time ago. This was, I think this was just a yarn mop that I had. Like if a color doesn't fully exhaust, I would sometimes throw in uh, some yarn to soak up the rest of the dye. And this is what I got. It's really lovely uh, light gray color. So it's just been sitting in a stash um, and it works really well with this one for um, the sprinkles. Now for the sleeve, that was a whole different story. Since this one has so many like colors in it, like different shades and tones, I had a really hard time picking a color for the sleeves. So I did two different swatches with colors just to see. Um, and one color just worked much nicer with this main color. And that's this one that I dyed up. At the same time I dyed up this one, I dyed this one. And is it going to show true? 
kind of. So this one I have an incredibly hard time photographing. This is brown. Um, whenever I photograph this, it um, shows up green. But it's brown. Can you see it? It's brown and gray. Yeah. Oh. Is it showing true to color? It's brown and gray. It's not green. Every time I take a photo and put it on Instagram, it's green. And I'm like, it's not the right color. Um, but this one just went the... It just went well. I know it's two dark colors. But wait till you see the swatch. Um... Let me show you the swatch. Yeah, this is a really nice color. I don't know how I dyed this. I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, so let me show you the swatch. It's a small swatch. This one did not hit gauge, but I wasn't going to rip it out because this is the how the colors play together. Let me see here. The lighting is bad. I hook my finger in there. Can you see it? I can't tell. My phone keeps trying to focus on my face. It's really dark, huh? There. Kind of a little bit better. Um, I think it looks lovely together, especially in person. It really it really works. So this will be the sleeves. The brown will be the sleeves. The, this purpley blue color. I don't even know what to call it will be the body and then the gray will be the speckles. I well, what other color was I going to use as the sleeve? I had a different color picked out for the sleeves. I can't remember what it was, but the this um faded right into it. You could not see the speckles at all. I think it was a oh, it was like a light lavender. I had a light lavender with slight pink speckles to it. Um this just blended right into it so it did not work it did look nice with this because it brought out the pink tones but it did not work so yeah that is the swatch um i did have to go up a needle size to hit gauge or at least be close enough for gauge i think maybe just one stitch off but i'm not too worried about it um so yeah I did a second swatch in some other colors just to see, um, but I was not thrilled. Um, so there's this swatch. And I did it with, um, I have um, this, it's like a burgundy wine red color that I got in my, um, the holidays in Scotland uh, advent box last year from Oh my gosh, who was it from? Le Garçon and Emilia, Emilia or, and Philomene? Is that right? Anyways, so this was the main color that I got in that admin box. Um, and it looks nice with this, uh, I'm focusing. With that gray, pink, purple, whatever, blue, But the only problem is, is this one is a two ply twist. This is just a four ply. Um, so this is a hundred percent merino wool. This one is a seventy five twenty five. Um, it's a high twist, and you can tell in person that it is very different. It doesn't look well together, being the high twist. So I was like, okay, well, not that color or that, not that yarn. And then I tried, um, a yarn. I have a yarn that's mostly white, but it has, um, pink, yellow, and blue, uh, a pink, yellow, and blue section. And I thought, well, in the, in one of the videos for the pattern, they showed a test knitters who's using a rainbow speckle like a rainbow yarn as their sprinkles um and it looked awesome but I don't think it works on it doesn't work with this yarn so that was a, a no thank you <laughs> 
but I thought I would test them out, you know, just to see, you know, you can't just, I mean, yes, my first choice was, well, not first choice, but because this was not my first choice, but yes, it, uh, Little swatches. Um, I already cut this one, so I can't like bind it off, but I really should like wash and block these. I think you, the swat, the swatch instructions said to, or gauge instructions said to block lightly. Like, so honestly, it probably doesn't matter if I block or, or don't block this. Because if you block lightly, it's not going to change too much. If anything, it's just going to fluff your yarn a little bit more. But yeah, I was way off with gauge with the called for needles. Um, way off. So I had to go up a needle size. Um, and I think it's just one, one off, maybe half a stitch off with this one. Which is, this is a... US six or a four uh four point oh millimeter meter. So yeah. Um this pattern releases on Friday. So I'm gonna possibly get that started. I'm trying to fit it all in here, but it is a little I need to re-cake this one. I need to cake this one up and uh get that one ready. Yeah, it doesn't all fit. I mean it fits, but it barely fits. Barely fits. <sighs> Yeah. That's it, guys. I talked forever about that. That, again, is by Woolen Pine. It's coming out soon. And Lila Styles bag. Super cute. Super cute. Um, lastly, I mean, I have been doing some sewing. I sewed my dress and I haven't showed it here. I'm sorry. I made a dress from, by Jacqueline C. Slack. It's the wool fork dress in her, in, you know, that Embody book by Pom Pom. Um, I made that dress. I, uh, not thrilled with the fabric choice that I made. Um, it's not that great. Uh. But it, you know, it works, it's functional, it fits everything I wore it to church two weeks ago. Um, I just haven't thought to show you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so I bought more fabric for another dress. I have another pattern that I have no clue what it's called or who it's by. <laughs> but once I get started, I'll probably have more information. But I did get some fabric for that. This is... Um, this is Kaufman Brussels Washer. Is that what that is? It's Kaufman Brusher, Brussels Washer. It doesn't tell me anything else on here. I think it's 100% linen. I got it from fabric.com. Um, there was lots of colors, but I just decided to go with blue. Because I wasn't sure what color. Like, I almost picked a green, but I was like... Mm. I think this blue, this really nice blue color will go with a lot of um, my hand knits, I think. I'm hoping. Um, my other dress I made is gray, so I was like, I don't want to make another gray dress. but, And I don't know how well I would look in like a natural linen color. I don't know if that would look good on me, so I didn't get that color. Yeah, so this came the other day. You know what sucks is fabric.com got bought out by Amazon. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Anyways, that's it, guys. <laughs> I hope you have a great week. Um, I need to go eat breakfast. Yes, I need to go eat breakfast. And I will talk to you guys next week. Hopefully, I'll have something done. I don't know. Who knows? Um, bye, guys. Bye.